The next two species of plants are these pretty pink flowering plants growing here low to the ground. So for scale, there's my hand. Not very tall plants. So we have our bog rosemary and our bog laurel. So right up front here is our bog rosemary. The leaves are arranged on the stem in an alternate pattern. So you can see there's one here, then you go up a little bit and there's another one, then you go up a little bit on the other side and there's another one. So they're alternating as you move up the stem. I need a third hand to focus my camera, sorry. There we go. The leaves are very leathery and then you can see quite well actually in the image that they curve under. So we call that a recurved leaf. Then they're a little bit hairy on the underside of that leaf. Coming this time of year is really nice because they're in bloom. So these small pink urn shaped flowers. The name is deceiving. We have a herb called rosemary that we enjoy to eat and spice things like potatoes with. Do not spice your potatoes with bog rosemary. It is a poisonous plant. It will make you quite ill and actually cause death. Um, I've never had a problem touching it, but it's not a bad idea if you are touching a poisonous plant to wash your hands afterwards, especially before eating. So bog rosemary, poisonous, alternating leathery leaves they're lance-shaped, so very long, elongated leaves, and those urn-shaped pink flowers. A very similar plant, growing right next to it in the bog here, is our bog laurel. So you can see right away the flowers are quite different. So they have these more saucer-shaped flowers. So your kind of standard flower you like to grow in your garden. Um, very beautiful to catch them this time of year. Growing in a big cluster at the top of the plant. Also has these leathery lance shaped leaves, but you can see the arrangement on the stem is opposite. So the leaves are growing in pairs directly opposite each other on the stem. So there's a pair here, a pair here. So opposite branching pattern of the leathery leaves on the stem of the bog laurel. So those are, that's one of the main distinguishing factors between the two that you'll want to use when identifying these two plant species.